so I've been t I talk for you know a bunch of videos now. <laughs> I talk about digital marketing within the automotive space, but really it's applicable in any space. So in this day and age, you know, we, we get told all the time, well, you have to have a, a website, and you have to have um, every single social media account there is, and you have to have um, a Google business profile, and you have to have this, and you have to have that. I mean, sure, that's great if, if, you, if you have the budget for that. But if you don't have the budget for that, like like trying to get an, on, an online business or, or a business where you wanna engage customers online, it, it's, it can be tricky, right? Because you have a limited budget to work with. So really, what you wanna ask yourself is, is exactly what are my goals? What is my strategy for my business? So obviously, you know, more sales, whether you're selling a service or a product more sales, right? We want to get more customers engaged with our business. So how do we do that? The quickest way to be found is to make sure you have a Google business profile. And I tell everybody this um, across the board who asked me, what's the, the first thing I should do when I start my online business? You should have an, a Google business profile or Google my business listing is what it was known as previously. Um, and you should optimize that. You should put in the address, the chat, the phone number, how to contact you, um, and then optimize it. So there's lots of categories of businesses that you can actually uh, put in there and select, but then there's also like what we do, products and services, things like that. That's really where the value, the, the, the SEO value or the value of being found, uh, that's what you can kind of equate SEO to is how am I being found. Um, that's where it's in. So the optimization is really the most important part of your listing. So if, if you're a seamstress, so alterations, um, uh, clothing design, maybe wedding dresses, uh, things like that, that you can actually utilize all the categories for. And it's, and it's pretty extensive, the, the different amounts of optimizations. But you can also use the business updates, right? So you can talk about, let's use our seamstress model. So for a seamstress, you, hey, uh, uh, Tuesdays, maybe Tuesdays are your slowest days. So let's make Tuesdays um, half off tailoring Tuesdays. And that's it. If you bring an item in on Tuesday, it's half off. Now stick with me here. Because I know what you're saying. Well, it still costs me the same time. Why am I giving it half off? Because your customer service is going to be so phenomenal that they're going to come back to you for a full price item. So that's where the key happens. That's where the, the magic happens, I guess you could say. Don't be afraid to offer that discount to get new customers in the front door. Capture their phone numbers, capture their email addresses. Make sure you're engaging them um, at the, where, they're in, where they want to be engaged with. So that half off is going to earn you more customer business than just that one alteration. So don't be afraid to pitch that half off a, a, a day, whatever your slowest day of the week is, um, and be very strict with it. Hey, it's only this day, you bring it in this day, um, our turnaround time is, I don't know, three to five days, whatever it is. Um, and you can dictate what the alteration is. This is just for um, pants and skirts alterations, that's it. So again, if your, if your business if you have the ability to do that, I would absolutely recommend that. And you wanna update that, those business updates that you have on your Google listing, on your Google Pro, uh, business listing, you wanna update those about every week. You really don't wanna um, go longer than that. You really wanna update them on a weekly basis because what you're gonna do is pull that new customer in who's man, those pants are too long and I was actually going to get rid of them, but man, if she can alter them for a, a not a, not a bad fee, that might be a worthwhile way to go. That service that you're offering, you're, you're trying to get that customer to come to you for those tailoring needs in the case of our seamstress example forever, not just for today and not just for this one service forever. So you have to start thinking about that. There's too many people that are like, oh, I need more customers. I need more customers. What are you doing with your customer base right now? How are you engaging them? How are you keeping them in the fold? How are you keeping them, um, their attention to your business? 
So some business, it's it's easier. So you have a good social media presence, you post great videos, and you have the connection with your customers. Other businesses, it's not so easy. Other businesses, you, you might have to work a little bit to do that. So I like the time-lapse videos. Um, with regards to mechanics, automotive, automotive mechanics, I've seen the service bay time-lapse videos. I've seen the, um, the things that customers bring in their cars for. Those get lots and lots of attention, lots of eyes, lots of views. So those are the kinds of things I would absolutely recommend uh, adding into your business updates for your Google business profile. Um, there's more that you can add. There's definitely a social media aspect of it that I don't feel is explored anywhere near uh, as much as it could be. Um, but for right for this week's for, for the purposes of this video, let's take that Google business listing and optimize everything on it and then make sure that we're updating weekly. We're providing weekly business updates rather than any on rather than just hey um, we're selling this, we're, we're advertising this, this for sale, we're selling that. Keep away from the sales stuff. I know the ROI, we wanna, we wanna talk about, hey, the ROI uh, uh, on this isn't great. You're not, you're not using Google Business and you're not using social media for ROI, you're using it for branding. So stop, stop selling on your social media, stop selling on your Google Business, use it for branding your business. You can capture their business with CTAs on there, but it's not a selling profile. Your ROI is gonna be different than a lead that got submitted. So stop thinking of it that way. Um, next video, I'll talk about social media ideas. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Happy selling.